How are you? Well, well and you, Vivian. Cool, cool, cool. So what are you going to show us today? Oh, uh, today I'm actually going to connect wirelessly to the Max Up screen, all right? So I'm going to show you how to connect your laptop wirelessly to the screen here. It's very, very simple. We're going to go to this Max Up uh, web page here, download a software onto it, right, onto our laptop. And then from the software, from the application, we will put in this code and wirelessly present. If you don't want to do that, you also have the option of actually using a Wi-Fi dongle as well. So what that means is you can plug this into the side and then everything sits on here, it lights up, and then you will be ready to present. When it's a solid light, you just press the button. This is actually tell you, yeah, it's optional extra. Yeah. Have, yeah, a look. have a look. Okay, so then yeah. if you use the dongle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you don't actually have to download the mm -hmm. app. Correct, correct. You literally just use the dongle. Correct, and, and the beauty of it is, right, so within the organization, you can actually have the software in all the laptops. Mm -hmm. But if you get a guest coming in, just have a dongle for them, and they can plug that in. They don't have to connect to your network or anything okay. and download it and have administrative problems, you know, downloading software. They can just use that and present to the Max app. Fantastic. Yeah. And I'm also going to, yeah. So now I'm going to show you how to connect. All right, so I'm just putting my laptop down here for you to see. We'll enter that code. And you will see, as I'm entering the code, it will actually pick up the rest of the code. Oh, fantastic. So I don't have to type it all in. Correct, correct. So now you can see. I'm going to do eight, four. Oh, you did type. Two. You just you type have it to it, but look. It yeah. already highlights telling you what the code is going to be. All right, J. And then you can see you're ready to okay. present. All right. And Another cool. Enough. Yeah, yeah. And also through wireless, you can actually access the MaxUp's camera when you, if you want to do a video conference from here as well. All right. So we're going to connect. What pixel size is this camera? <coughs> so this is the MaxUp Vo. And it's got a 48 megapixel camera. Okay. So very, very good quality. It's also a smart camera, meaning that it will auto frame you in the picture as you speak. So it'll zoom in and um, when you speak. Fantastic. Okay, so it's connecting now. It's connecting now. So while we're waiting for it to connect, yeah. um, so back to the camera, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what size of room would it yeah. work in? So the camera, look, this is um, for like, I would say about a six or eight seater boardrooms for a medium to small boardroom. Mm -hmm. So perfectly uh, sized for that. Uh, anything bigger, we've got USB input, so we can actually add additional cameras as well. Okay. If you want the bigger panning, tilting, and zooming cameras as well, we can add that as well to it. Yeah. Right, so, but you, usually that would be yeah. sufficient. In Absolutely sufficient for a, for a medium to small boardroom. Um, yeah, as you can see, everything's built into it. Yeah, it's nice and easy Fantastic. to use. Fantastic, and speakers built yes. in and everything. Absolutely, you've got the two front-firing speakers. These pins, you can see they're attached magnetically to it. Yeah, that's useful. Very cool. so you don't yeah. have to scramble around finding your exactly. pin. Exactly, exactly. And they don't need batteries. Yeah, that's correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it never fails on you, always available to write. No problems with that. Also, you know, in the day and age we live in with COVID, you don't want to touch the screen you can just use the pins sanitize the pin and the next person can use it so that's an easy way to do it rather than trying to sanitize the entire yeah, screen no, that's really helpful looks like we've got yeah. problems with our network connection that's yeah. <laughs> network connection always, yeah. it's not max up yeah, it's not max up. <laughs> so i'm gonna do that you see why it's taking so long yeah okay i'm gonna share my laptop wirelessly to the screen terry so just for everybody, no cables, right? I'm using the MaxUp Screen Share app, and I've connected to it. Very. Oh, that's so great because yeah. these cables, you know, it's always yes. like now you're in a hurry to present, okay. and now it's got this cable's got to go in there, and where do you plug it in? And so that's Correct. actually And also sometimes it may be broken, and then you're like gonna run around exactly. find another cable. So very nice. I mean, yeah. And now, the beauty is you get full control of your laptop, so your laptop can be at your table. And you can get full control. You can actually open up any file. You can edit it. You can open up Excel. You can edit that as well. You can have a look here. So we can open up Excel. And we can do that. I'm just going to close that. Sorry. I can click on different lines here. I can do editing. I can move it around. I can even, so what's cool as well from here, I can open up my presentation as well. So can you actually edit directly on that Excel spreadsheet on the yes. Max Hub display? Absolutely. Full control of your laptop from here. Sure, that's right? fantastic. But there's more to come, which we'll get into shortly. Mm -hmm. So 
This is my um, PowerPoint presentation. Let me switch it over there. You can see here it pops up and then we can start presenting from here. We can also edit and write over it or annotate over the presentation, right? Like this. I can select something here. I'm just going to write, hi, Terry. Right, and we can continue. So we can do these type of things here in annotation mode. And then again, as I've explained previously, we can actually share it with the QR code. So all the people in the room, wherever they are in the room, they can actually scan this QR code here. Right? And it's shared, shared onto, it the onto their mobile devices. So oh, you take your phone, yeah, okay, absolutely. Fantastic. You take your phone, you scan it, and then you get it on there. So you literally have to only bring your mobile phone to a meeting. Correct. You can scan the presentation and, and everything that's saved on there and you know, then you've got it. Correct. You can correct. also print and save it to the Mac sub. Absolutely. And once you've done your annotations or changes, save it directly. Correct. Absolutely correct, Terry. I think yeah, you're quite good at it. <laughs> now <laughs> really, because you you can actually save all this information directly onto the Mac sub because it's got the PC. You can actually print it if it's connected on the same network as your printer. You can print all of this out and hand Fantastic. it out. Fantastic. Although the Greenpeace guys wouldn't be too happy with you because you yeah, don't have no. paper. You draw the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the cloud. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so another cool feature, right? So if you don't want anyone else or anyone to get control or to lose control of the screen in this habit here, you can actually turn on and off the touch here functionality. So that means nobody can control your laptop. So if you're sitting with your laptop there, you can switch the touch on and off here. Right, and then you can't control it as well. Okay. So you can have you have a do not disturb mode as well. That means only you're allowed to present onto the screen as well. Does that then mean that more people can present? Can you actually share a screen with more people sharing to it? Absolutely, or you can. Yes, so you can have multiple laptops or a combination of laptops and mobile devices connected. So you can have four people displayed simultaneously on the screen. Right, so you can have a laptop. You can still control the laptop while you're in that little block in your quadrant here. So just to give you an idea of the quadrant, we go, so that's your quadrant here, right? So we can, you can have- You straight lines. Uh, I'm <laughs> trying, yeah. <laughs> so we can have a PC there, you know, an Apple device here, right? We can have another Android device here. And we can have another PC. So we can have four different devices all sharing at the same time here. Okay. You can control only your PCs, not your mobile devices. Mm -hmm. And can yeah. you actually, like you did now, yeah. annotate on all of these? Yeah. Like let's say for instance, this person shares their mm -hmm. presentation mm -hmm. there yeah. on that squadron. Yeah. Can you actually annotate on it, save that specific mm -hmm. one only? So yes, you, so when you annotate, you'll, be, you'll annotate over the entire surface, mm -hmm. but you can actually edit and save directly to the PC here, or you can save it back into a memory stick as well okay. through a screen. And then you can also, so yeah, so you can do that or you can actually send a QR code, scan that and get the information as well. Fantastic. So that's quite cool. And talking about yeah. the mobile phone, yeah. I actually heard that you can use the mobile phone as a remote, Absolutely. which is quite useful yes. if you're sitting down Absolutely. and you want to control something that's on it. the screen. Yeah, exactly. So it actually, you know, so this is where MaxUp has come you know, to the fore because now we don't have to have a lot of control systems and stuff to switch on, switch off stuff to control the screen. So we can take a mobile device, which I've got here. Right? So I've, I've, I've put it into remote control mode here. So I've selected the control, I've switched it on. And remember, that's my laptop screen. That's my laptop presenting there. Yeah. So now I can actually control my laptop. So I can move presentations. I have full control of my laptop. I can edit, I can do all sorts of things if I want to. You can see at the bottom here. That is I can fantastic. select and do that. I can end presentation. So now I'll go back. Sorry, my phone's a bit small, but I will try and get to all the buttons there. Because sometimes you also have the presenter who wants to Correct. do the talking and present, Correct. but there might be somebody sit. helping him mm -hmm. um, who, who might yes. be controlling the slides. That's it, yeah. Or if he doesn't want to stand up at the screen, mm. he can use the remote control and sit down and do it. So it's okay. quite cool. Very, That's very nice. a very useful function. Absolutely. Again, I have all of the functions. I can still annotate over anything like this. And you can save. Yeah, so absolutely. while you're sitting with your mobile yeah. there, yeah. 
you could, that person could actually save the file should the presenter forget or Correct. print Correct. it or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's some it. of their requests. That's it. So I'm going to end control. Right. I just want to show you. I can connect. So now the multiple devices. I'm going to bring my phone into this as well. Right. You can see straight away it shows here. Okay. So here's my phone. And there we go. Again. You mentioned the annotation over everything. So we can annotate, it takes a frame of this. You can see it picks up whenever I turn my phone. So if I do that, right? And then now we can again annotate over a everything like this. So we can mirror our phone, we can send a file from our phone, we can send video with audio, and then we can also control the screen, which in turn, if our laptops are connected, control the laptop. Yeah. yeah, that's And we can still write over here as well. Now, now tell me, mm -hmm. okay, that's now the audience sitting here yeah. um, who could actually share their laptops or devices. But now, what if you have people dialing in and they're in, mm -hmm. in a remote um, office? Yeah, yeah. How can they share also from where they are? So that will, that will be through the Teams platform, right? Remember, this screen has the camera and the microphone. So in your video conferencing, through Teams, Teams allows you to share. So you'll use the Teams that you, you've loaded on here and you can share content that way back and forth. So we can okay. share from here okay. and they can share as well from here. And one of that, those devices mm -hmm. shared will be one of the four then? And no, then no, three no, other no. people no, it'll, still it'll be over on the uh, Teams application. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, that's quite a useful function yeah, as absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yeah. It's great for collaboration, you know, with remote offices. Because a lot of times you've got your Durban or, or Cape Town or overseas office. Correct. And Correct. your your staff need to participate yeah. in a absolutely. presentation, absolutely. sales meetings. And here's the cool thing. If they have multiple Macs up, right? Yeah. Macs up have developed uh, what they call the co-whiteboard sharing, which I've demonstrated earlier. All right. So I'm just going to come out of here. So, you know, you asked a very interesting question, actually. So you're just putting us to the test to see if you're actually coming. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you so, said Max can yeah. do everything, so yes. I'm really testing yes. this So the way, one thing we're waiting for is actually for you to make coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a great extra ad. So you can see here we've got co-whiteboard sharing, right? So in co-whiteboard sharing, we can actually, if we've got another Max up in Durban, in Cape Town, or wherever, and they're on the same network because it's the same organization, we can share this whiteboard with them there as well, and they can share it with audio as well. So we, I can talk and write on the whiteboard. They can see it there, and they can write back, and we can both collaborate. Fantastic. So you yeah. can actually, the whole co collaboration, yeah. bring it together and save it as one file, yes. and that can be emailed out to everybody Absolutely. who participated. Yeah. Their notes, your notes, everything All combination. You can also, uh, again, you can share it as well through QR code as well. So you can share that QR code as well. And while you're talking about mm -hmm. that, um, apparently you can record as well. Yes. The Maxa can record the whole presentation. Absolutely. Voice of the presenter, everything. Absolutely, Jenny. And I will show you that as well. So let me just go to the home page here. So you can see here we have this little button here. This is our navigation pane button. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So over here we've got the home page. Here we've got all the pages that we've opened. So if we want a quick access to whatever files we've already got open in here, we can do that. So if I want to go back to the whiteboard, here I can quickly go back just by going to the navigation pane. So the navigation pane uh, controls the screen there. I can choose that, right? And then we've got the record function here. So here we go, screen recorder, right? So if we select screen recorder, there we go. So I'm just gonna move that up here. So you can see that. Mm -hmm. So we can record it with the mics on. So it'll record whatever I do on the screen, right? So if I move to different files, different presentations, all of that wireless connect, uh, wirelessly connecting, we can do that. And I can record it with or without voice. So if I start recording, it'll record as well. It will record yeah. what you do Correct. on the screen and yeah. it records the voice of the Correct. presenter. Correct. As we're speaking now, so if I'm talking to you and I'm saying, yeah, Lick, um, this is what we're doing today. This screen works with gestures, you know, you can do that as well. That's fantastic yeah, for yeah. training. Absolutely. You know, in a Absolutely. training environment, you yeah. actually need to have the voice of the mm -hmm. person presenting yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, the notes that they're making. Correct. So you can do all of that even on a presentation mm -hmm. 
and record the Absolutely. voices of, will it also record the voices of the participants um, in a conference or correct. a Correct, it'll, it'll record as much as it can. Remember the microphones will pick up eight meters away? Eight meters? Yeah, so yeah. eight meter pick up, so if they speak as well, it'll all be recorded, um, the audible noise. So the good thing about the recording, right? Mm -hmm. So as you mentioned, with training, so sometimes training can be an entire day. So they need to take breaks in between, maybe a tea break or a lunch yeah. break. You can actually pause the recording, right? Pause it, and wherever you are, go out, come back in, and continue recording right there. So this way, so remember, when they finish, they can do a little bit of editing and bring all the videos, everything mm. together as one, and send it out. That's also great for if yeah. there's something off record and yes. you don't want to record yes. everything. Stop. Okay. So you just yeah. stop. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But here's some more cool features, right? So once we're done recording and we close the recording or we stop the recording, right? You'll see, it'll save it. So firstly, it gives you the option of generating a QR code. So meaning, straight away, without even trying to save it on here, trying to email it out, you get a QR code again. Mm -hmm. So you can scan this with your phone and get the entire recording, including whatever you did on the screen, on your mobile device. That is yep. like just so easy. Absolutely. Literally, so everybody who's yep. participating, Straight you can just take a yep. scan quickly and there everything is on their phone. Absolutely, absolutely. You don't even have to email or whatever yes. afterwards. It saves them time as well. And then you can also obviously save it onto your PC here. If I've had a memory stick plugged in, I can save it onto the memory stick. So, that, you know, if you have different mm -hmm. lecturers or people coming in for meetings, they can straight away save it on here rather than the local PC or the local... Um, Disk drive here. Just so many options. Yeah, absolutely, no, absolutely. It covers everything really. That's it. You know, they've made it as flexible as possible. Uh, Max has put a lot of R&D into it. They went out into the market, asked a lot of questions, or got a lot of feedback from end users as to what is required on the screen. And this is what they come up with. And they're continuously innovating and upgrading. Um, some new features as well is, you know, with the wireless connectivity, it's come a long way. So now, with wireless connectivity, we can start accessing cameras and microphones as well from our laptop. So if we want to run a conference call from our laptop, we can access the, um, the cameras and mics and connect and use our laptop for the video meeting as well. Yes, that's really thought of everything. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, what model is mm -hmm. this? Is this the Vogue? The Maxup yes. V? The V. Uh, the so it's a Maxup V5. Vogue series. Yeah. So the Vogue is a, so you get a three series. So you get the um, classic series, which has a 12 megapixel camera. That's the only difference. And it doesn't have, you don't have the color combination here like this. So the what Vogue, color combination? Um, this oh, little yeah. bottom piece here. Yeah. Oh, right. So see. with the Vogue, you get the different options of the different colors. Oh, you can actually select Absolutely. the color that you yes. prefer. So they have a, a range of colors you can choose from, from the blues to the pinks and the whites. And the Vogue has got a 48 megapixel? 48 megapixel camera, camera so yeah. much better camera. Um, and then you've got the Transcend um, series as well, which has got the 48 megapixel camera, but is also a capacitive touchscreen, slightly different technology. Now exactly yeah. what does mm -hmm. capacitive yeah. mean? How okay. explain yeah. that to us? So, so this, these screens are infrared touch, meaning they form a grid just above the screen here for you to touch, and it's very, very accurate. Right, if we can, I'll just put that into annotation mode, Terry. If you're going to touch there, you can see it's quite accurate. So, capacitive touch, yeah, and everything with the pen as well. So, very accurate. So, capacitive touch is obviously um, slightly different. It works in pressure sensitivity as well. So, if you, the harder you press, the thicker the line as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so this so is just a normal. So you um, can infrared. go quite thin, or and you thick, can yeah. go if you. Correct, pass. and the capacitive touch screens. Um, yeah, and that's the two, and capacitive touch sits inside the screen as well. And that's it there. So, we can see that. so one thing you'll notice, Terry, they've actually even thought about left handed and right handed people. No, you're so kidding you, me. I'm not kidding. So, if you press at the bottom there, you'll get this icon come there to you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, depending on which side you prefer presenting from the screen, yeah. you can do that as well. That yeah. also, yeah. you mentioned something about two yeah. people can present at the same time. So Absolutely. how would that work? So you can have... Because so I see you've got two pens as well. Correct. So correct. let's say if you're left-handed, you can yep. just like touch here and work from here with this pen correct. or from that side. So we'll go here to writing. We'll I'm going to grab my yep. pen you as pen. well. I'm going to switch that on.
gonna run out of battery. Oh, did you see? Why is it stuck? Let me close it and reopen. <laughs> uh, we can just edit that yeah. out. Sorry, Dave. Natural. Doesn't let it do that. Is that it on this side as yeah. well? Yeah. Okay, I must that actually, that was when, he, when oh. Tommy again takes a video, I'll say, oh, and then you've got the menu obviously on this side as well. Yeah. I didn't realize <laughs> that. Let's try again. Yeah. Okay. Good I think let's start with that yeah. little section again. Okay, so let me so close So I'm just going to ask for a question again yeah. about the... Do that? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so I'm not quite sure where we were. Um, but, um, we were talking about, um, where were we? We were editing, we were talking about while it's presenting and you're talking about multiple people writing in the board, yeah. etc. Um, mm. Yeah. Um, okay, so the thing, yeah. you actually also mentioned something that more than one person can present. Yeah, can, can write on the board at the same time. At the same yeah, time. Correct. And what you just said to me now yeah. is that if you're left-handed, yes. you can actually, there's the same menu option as here. Correct. Now let me just, just open yeah, just up the invitation the again. Yeah. So you can tap at the bottom there. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So yeah. um, that's available for me on this side, and Correct. I see there's also a pen on both Correct. sides. Correct. So, so it's very easy to just grab, and if you're left-handed, to present from this, this side. Side. Correct. But then it means that there must be a, also that same menu option on this side. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So um, oh, there we, there we go. So Fantastic. we both have it here. So, so I can literally, like, because mm -hmm. now if I want to go to the whiteboard, yeah. And two people can present at the same or write at the same time. Correct. So if you so go to your settings over there, Terry. Yeah. And then you go to writing. Writing. Yeah. And then you're going to select multiple, multiple people. Yeah. Multiplayer yes. writing. And now we're both ready to write at the same time. Okay. So I'm not That's disturbing you and you're writing. And you can see. Yeah. Very good. Oh, That's we both awesome. wrote the same thing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I think your handwriting is better than mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what if I wanted this in the words? Is that possible? Absolutely. You can convert this to text. But right? I don't think it's going to recognize my handwriting. <laughs> Absolutely. You might be surprised.